Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving this MCM dresser a one day makeover. You heard that right, this is a easy one. You don't have to have any skill, talent, or prior experience to make over a piece of furniture. So if you wanna see this makeover, just keep watching. Here is the six drawer dresser I'm gonna be working on today. This MCM beauty came my way for $50. And while someone put a lot of effort into painting this, it's just not my style, so we're gonna make it a little bit more earthy and neutral. Today's video is sponsored by Beyond Paint. I'm gonna be using their all-in-one paint for this makeover. No stripping, no sanding, no priming. It seals and paints all in one process. You guys have seen me do several makeovers like these on my channel, and I still have one of these pieces. It's in my son's bedroom, and for being in a kid's bedroom, it has held up really well real life no staging on this thing but i finished this in september of 2020 and i could only find these two scratches for a kids room that's amazing you apply this paint with a roller and a chip brush and there's no sealing so it's really easy the person who previously refinished this did a great job it looks really good it's clean the finish is not failing at all so i can actually paint right over top of this i'm not a fan of the hardware so i'm removing that and i'm going to replace it with some finger pulls so i'm eventually going to fill these holes but first we're going to remove it and clean everything the only thing you have to do to prep this piece is clean it with this simple green you don't have to scuff sand you don't have to prime it so this is a really good paint to use for someone who just wants to get a makeover done fast and we're not gonna have to seal it. I like to let this set for a couple of minutes, then I'm gonna go in and scrub it with a scrubby sponge and I'll rinse everything back with some clean water. The rinsing part is just as important as the cleaning part. You wanna get all this residue off so that your paint has a good surface to stick to. The way this paint's designed, you don't have to prime or strip this back. You don't even have to scuff sand it to get Beyond Paint to adhere. So we're really putting it to the test today. This one will be easier to refinish with the drawers out. So I'm gonna remove them. The previous owner already has them all numbered. So I'm just gonna line them up back here. I'm gonna quickly clean the front frame as well. I'm gonna use this heavy duty wood filler, this DAP plastic wood to fill up my hardware holes. This dries really fast in 15 minutes, so I'm gonna be able to sand and paint really quickly. Okay, I did a test drawer, it is all dry. I was kind of concerned about this black portion because it's raised and it has a different texture than the white pieces. And I'm definitely seeing that line. The paint is drying differently on it. So I'm going to sand and smooth back this black part on the drawer fronts so that it's gonna give me a nice even look across the drawer. I'm gonna be using this beautiful sage color to give this more of a neutral look. You guys know green is so on trend right now and I'm just obsessed with it. And I'm gonna be using the toolkit to apply everything so everything comes ready for you to go. I like to line my tray to make cleanup a little bit easier, but this paint does clean up with soap and water, which is a nice feature. It is really thick, so it looks almost like a pudding consistency. You don't need to shake it, you don't need to stir it. Just put it right in your tray and you are gonna start rolling away. What is great, like a flat piece like this, is I am basically gonna be able to paint the whole thing with a roller. If you had curves or little details, you would just use the chip brush and smooth that in. I've done that on other pieces that I have, but using Beyond Paint on a really flat, clean piece like this, it makes it super easy to get this paint on really fast. This paint is really thick, and since you're putting it on with a roller, you will see a lot of texture. That will dry down and flatten down. It'll kind of fill those imperfections, which is great. It dries down to a smooth finish, but it is a textured look, if that makes sense. I'll show you when it dries. So like up here, it's gonna be hard for me to get in the roller. So I'm gonna use this brush, and you do a stipple motion like this. You don't paint like that. 
this paint doesn't like that. So you're gonna stipple up in here and then you can smooth it out with the roller. The great feature about this paint is that it literally can be painted on anything. Wood, linoleum, glass, laminate, plastic, varnish, tile, masonry, metal, and like I'm doing today, a painted surface. So this needs about two to four hours to dry. So in between coats, I'm gonna wrap my roller in cellophane so it doesn't dry out. And the reason I do the foil is so I can toss this guy out and start fresh next time. The first coat really primes and bonds to the piece. And then the second coat, when you come in, you get a lot more coverage. And depending on the tone of the piece and how dark it is underneath, you might have to do a third coat. I ended up only having to do two coats on this piece. I like to buy a quart just to make sure that I have enough paint, but a pint probably would have worked here. I just like to have overage in case I need to make touch-ups down the road. While this paint does dry in two to four hours, it does take seven days for it to fully bond. So you wanna be careful with it up until those seven days are over and then it'll take 30 days to cure. So no cleaning until those 30 days are up. Now that this is completely dried, I'm gonna add the new hardware. I got these really cool finger pulls from Amazon. The screws that it came with were too long, so make sure when you're doing screws like this, you don't want them popping through this. That would be really bad. So you just wanna line them up and make sure that they're not gonna poke through the front. I'm putting these little felt pads right by the screws and I'm gonna put them on the corners as well so they don't chip up the paint that's on the frame. I love these legs and they're in pretty good shape. The color looks great with the sage color, so I'm just gonna clean them up. And then I'm gonna rinse them with some water. I have this DAP repair stick. It has a marker on the end. So I'm just gonna take this and touch up any little spots on the feet that need it. Another one day makeover complete. Just to remind you, here's what we started off with and here it is now. I really love this update. I love how the color goes with the natural wood legs and I love the new hardware too. I think it's a nice touch. The best part is this took one day. It was quick and easy and beginner friendly. Let me know down in the comments if you are brave enough to try Beyond Paint. Thanks for joining me for today's furniture makeover. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.